Joining us now to discuss the event even further and how it became to be is the event coordinator, Kim Oderkirk. Thank you so much for being here, Kim. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here. Absolutely. We appreciate you being here. Let's just talk about how this event even sparked up and came to be in the first place, please. So the Great Lakes Women Business Council became a member of the chamber. We talked about how we could um, do something together. And so this is um, the result of that. Oh, nice. So pr pretty simple. We want to do something for women entrepreneurs in the community, give them an, uh, an opportunity to highlight their products, their services, and things like that. And, and it just came to fruition. And that's good to see and know. So what do we actually, uh, what are we expecting to achieve ultimately with this expo? from your perspective? Well, we want to make sure that people realize that, uh, you know, there's many, many women-owned businesses. Um, they do many awesome, great things. Um, there are so many different unique items that are going to be showcased on August 3rd, which is this Saturday. Um, so, and a lot of fun things. Nice. Are there any specific type of businesses, goods, or services that will be featured here already registered? Um, we have sold out. So we Ooh. have 45 tables and spaces um, at Orchard Mall. We're in all three of the hallways. Um, so we have, um, you know, we have a massage uh, therapist coming. We have glass, specialty glass. We have um, many members of the chambers, uh, men many members of the um, business council. Um, so um, I'll be there myself. I'm a diamond painting artist. So um, I'll have wow. my goods there. Um, so very, a lot of unique, different things. We love that. Love that. And I love to hear that, too. A lot of different things. Like we said, goods and services, by the way. And with yeah. this right here on the oh. Splash Live, event coordinator for the Women's Pop-Up Shop Expo at Orchard Mall, August 3rd, Kim Oderkirk, talking about the event and just talking about the overall aspect, uh, um, overview of it. Now, how are we expecting to, what are we expecting when we walk into Orchard Mall? Is there a certain space that everything is set up? Can you just describe the aesthetics of how everything is going to sure. look? Sure. So the first thing is we will have a food truck outside, um, Vegged Out, which is a women-owned food truck, will be on site nice. um, starting at um, 11 o'clock, but our event starts at noon. She's going to feed the vendors first, so that's great. Um, and then as you walk in, you can come in any of the three entrances. There's the, um, the Tapper's named event, um, I'm sorry, entrance, which is the main entrance of the mall. There's 12 um, tables in front. Then there's a, the whole center is filled. And then you can go either left or right. Um, one goes to the Tapper store and one goes to Shangri-La restaurant. Um, and you can come in either of those doors as well. There are our, our main sponsors are um, at the end of those entrances, so they can help you navigate. We'll have signs. We'll have a listing of all the booth numbers, mm. of all the vendors. Um, so, yeah, come in any of the three entrances, the main entrance. Um, with, that's where the food truck will be. Um, it, you know, it, it, we've, we filled the whole mall. So it's yes. not one of the biggest malls in town, but... It'll look amazing when think, we're done. I think this is great for so many different reasons. Like you said, not only highlighting women-owned businesses right here in the community, but also bringing people to our local mall also, which we yes. all know has been undergoing different developments and changes. So I just think the work all together was so, so great. You mentioned that you sold out of vendor tables. That's yes. amazing to me. I want to yes. speak to... From my perspective, I would think there's probably more women-owned businesses that are out there that would love to be a part of this that didn't make it. Now, can you just talk about why it would still be important for women-owned businesses who may not have gotten a vendor table to still at least show up and support? Oh, absolutely. Um, you can see how other people sh showcase their goods mm -hmm. and their services. Um, you can, you know, maybe we do this again next year. You know, we, we do more than one, you know, event. Um, you can join either the chamber or the council. So if you're not members of either one, you can get information um, and see how you can get your name out there. So mm -hmm. um, the marketing access is great. Plus, you can meet other um, women owned businesses and network with them as well. Yeah, yeah. And I mentioned that before. We mentioned that before. You can create a barter system. Every business still needs other things from other businesses. So if you can find someone Absolutely. who can provide that, then, I mean, there you go. There, there's barter system for us right there. Um, uh, not too many things before we before we let you go, uh, Kim, if you don't mind. I kind of want to <laughs> pick your brain about this. Um, uh, what, um, what essentially do we want 
how are we measuring success with this ultimately? We know the vendor table sold out, but on right. the other end of it, how are you measuring success for this? Um, just hopefully we get a sense of the community supporting us and coming to the event. Um, you know, all every table that sells goods will have a record of how much they've sold. Um, I know what I've sold in past markets, so that's always a benchmark for me. Okay. Um, what do I do in other four-hour um, shows? Um, the vendor truck, of course, um, you know, how much she sells, um, and just the whole um, overall aspect of the mall. Some of the um, stores in the mall are giving coupons for the day. Um, mm. Orchard Mall does have a table. They'll be right next to me. I'm the first table coming into the main entrance. So you can um, see some of the other stores in the mall. Um, just just to bring everybody into one place and, you know, spend the afternoon. We're from 12 to 4. Um, come, come check us out. Nice. So even if you're just randomly out running your errands on a Saturday morning or early Saturday, uh, Saturday, Saturday midday, yep. and you go to the Orchard Mall, you can stumble across a very, very great event. Kim, we thank yes. you so much. Lastly, any additional information for people who are looking to attend this event? Do they have to register? Is there a cost? Please. Nope, it's free. It's free to the community. Absolutely. So come out and see us. You may find some really unique gifts if you're looking for graduation gifts or holiday gifts or birthday gifts. I mean, I, I know I shop all year long. Um, there are some amazing um, women-owned businesses that are going to be at this event. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you again for doing this. We appreciate Thank the you. women entrepreneurs in our community. Event coordinator for the Women Pop-Up Shop Expo at Orchard Mall, August 3rd, Kim Oderkirk. We appreciate your time. Thank you.